Every year I take students through First Year Latin by Robert Henley. This year is no exception. And in exercise 167, there are some common problems that arise. Let's take a look at some of them. So in the very first sentence, we have, you will send the legions into the camp. Subject of the sentence is you. It's a pronoun. Subject of the sentence, it's in the nominative case. The verb is actually a verb phrase, you will send. Send is the main verb. Will is a helping verb. And you will send what? What will you send? You will send the legions. It's a direct object. They receive the action. And it goes into the accusative case. And where are you going to send the legions? You will send them into, which is a preposition, into what? Camp, object of the preposition. Anytime you send something into in Latin, if you're using the word into, it goes into the accusative case. The Latin doesn't have any article adjectives, so we can simply eliminate those. Okay, let's diagram this, and then we'll translate it into Latin. We well, always start with the main line and divide it. You goes on the subject side, will send goes on the verb side. So there's our basic sentence right there, you will send. But we're not done, Artic or not article adjectives. Direct objects also go on the main line after a straight stick to the main line. So you will send legions. You will send legions. And uh, we can... Well, let's add the article adjectives later. Where are you going to send the legions? You're going to send them into, into where? Into camp. Because this is answering the question where we will send them, that's an adverbial question, we're going to put it underneath the verb. And then, of course, we can add the article adjectives. You will send the legions into the camp. And I'm actually going to get rid of that last one. Mm, I was going to say because I need the space, but maybe we can leave it up there. You will send the legions into the camp. Okay, so here's where the trouble begins. Will send is a future tense verb, and my students are just learning that in Mr. Henley's book in this chapter and in this exercise, and this is where they trip up. So in Latin, we would say, you will send the legions into camp. We'll leave the verb to the end because that's what the Romans like to do or Latin likes to do. So we'll start off with you. We'll go ahead and use the pronoun. You don't have to all the time, but vos, plural. You will send the legions into camp. Let's go to the legions yet. Vos, or next, vos legiones. Vos legiones. Let's put them into the camp. In castra. Vos legiones in castra. Now we need you will send. We started off over here with vos, which means we have a plural you. This is like saying you all will send. So the verb is mito. Mito means I send. Of course, that's not what we're going to be using here. Since it's future and it's third conjugation, the vowel is going to change to mite. And then we simply add the u endings. Mitetis. Vos legiones in castra mitetis. Vos legiones in castra mitetis. That's how you say, you will send the legions into camp. Okay, that's sentence one. Let's look at another problem sentence, which is sentence number seven. Again, this has to do with future tense verbs. That's what's causing the trouble. They, subject of the sentence, nominative case. They will pitch. Pitch is the main verb. Will is a helping verb. They will pitch what? They will pitch camp, direct object, accusative case. Where are they going to pitch it? They're going to pitch it there. This last word answers the question where. That's an adverbial question, and I always circle adverbs. To, do, to diagram it, we'll start with the main line and divide it. We'll put the subject on the subject side. They, what will they do? They will Pitch, there's our main sentence now. We have the subject and the verb. They will pitch. What will they pitch? We have to add some space here. We have a direct object, accusative case. So it's also going on the main line, but we have to put a half stick to the main line. They will pitch camp. They will pitch camp. And where are they going to pitch camp? They're going to pitch camp. Again, this goes underneath the verb. 
they're going to pitch it there. It goes underneath the verb because it's answering the question where. It's an adverbial question. They will pitch camp there. Now all we have to do is translate this into Latin. So we'll go ahead and set it up on Latin word order, Roman word order, so it's going to sound a little bit to English ears, but this is just the way the Romans like to set their sentences up. So we'll actually start with there. Ibi. I don't like that. I'm not sure why, but anyway. Ibi, there. And let's put camp in there. Ibi castra. Now all we need is they will pitch. They will pitch. The verb ponere means to put place or, in this case, pitch, like pitch camp. That's an infinitive, though. In the future, we're going to drop the RE and we're going to replace it with NT. And we now have the future tense verb. They, they will pitch, they will pitch camp. And where will they pitch camp? They will pitch camp there. Ibicastraponent. It's much shorter in Latin, isn't it, than it is in English. Ibicastraponent. Another problem sentence is number 10. I will drive them into the river. A lot of military sentences in Mr. Henley's book. A lot of Catholic sentences and a lot of military sentences. I believe Mr. Henley was a Catholic priest and he must have served in the military. These seem to be the common themes. I will drive them into the river. I, subject of the sentence, nominative case. I what? I will drive. Drive is the main verb. Will is a helping verb. I will drive whom? I will drive them. Direct object, accusative case. I will drive them where? Into, preposition. Into what? River, object of the preposition. The whole thing is a prepositional phrase. The is an article adjective. We really don't need it, even though we will use it when we diagram it. So here's our sentence, our line. We're going to diagram it. Let's divide the line. We'll put the subject on the subject side. I, the verb on the verb side. I will drive. There's our basic sentence. I will drive. I will drive whom? I will drive this direct object here. I will drive them. And this is not driving somebody into the river like with a car. This is a military sentence. I will drive them where? I will drive them into... I will drive them into the river. I will drive them into the river. Okay, so the problem is when you're translating it into Latin, you need the future you need the future form of I will or I drive or to drive. We'll save the verb for the last, so let's go ahead and take care of the easy stuff. Let's put them out front. Eos. Okay, so so far we have them. Let's put them in the river. In flumen. Flumen in Latin is a neuter word, so flumen in the nominative is also flumen in the accusative. And since we're using the preposition into, it pushes the next word into the accusative case. We didn't talk about that up here, actually, but we should have. It pushes the next word into the accusative case. But when we translate into into Latin, it's just in. So, eos in flumen. Now all we need is I will drive. The verb drive in Latin is agere. Agere, A-G-E-R-E, -E. sorry about that ugly R. It means to drive, but in the future, first person singular, it is agam. Eos in flumen agam. Eos in flumen agam. Agam means I will drive. I will force them into the river. I will drive them into the river. Okay, I hope that helps you with exercise 167. If you like this video and want to see more like it, simply subscribe below. You can also go visit DwayneThomas.com and find more videos over there. I hope you guys have a great day.